Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm introducing the new optimized crop tool in Photoshop Elements, which is now powered by the GPU. So depending on your own computer specifications, you should see some improvement in performance of this tool. As usual, you can access it by clicking on the crop tool in the tools panel or by pressing the letter C on the um, on the keyboard and as you can see we get this new outline with much larger corner and side handles. In fact you can continue to press C on the keyboard to cycle through the cookie cutter and the perspective crop and back to the crop tool. That's just a little tip for you. Now these um, corner handles we can drag to, to upward in and out to, um, to to get the kind of effect that we want and what we can do with this new tool is we can recompose the image within the um, within the crop shield itself this is something new in previous versions of photoshop elements this was not possible you could only drag around the bounding box so i think this is more intuitive for getting the kind of composition that you want and in this case I'm just doing a custom crop using no restriction and when you're happy you can just click done. I'm going to undo that just to um, to reset it because um, as before we got the crop suggestions and if you just hover over these it will give you an idea of what you can do and give you perhaps a starting point ready for recomposing. Also in the drop down menu we have lots of individual photo sizes so I could in this case choose 8 inches by 10 inches and um, put a resolution of 300 pixels in the resolution box and um, that will give me a nice print size uh, of a good quality. Um, again you can continue to recompose by just dragging and recomposing the picture making it more um, less of the foreground and more of the more of the blue sky and um, when you're happy just click click done and if we go to the pull down menu at the bottom we can check the actual size by going to document by dimensions as you can see this is now cropped to 10 by 8 at 300 ppi when you first activate the crop tool from the tool panel or by pressing C on the keyboard there is an alternative to dragging the corner handles. If you hover inside the crop shield you can see that the cursor changes and you can drag out a rectangle over your subject and when you release the mouse the crop shield will snap to the rectangle shape. You can still continue to adjust to your liking by using the handles again when you're finished just simply click click done and there's your crop finished. In this next example you can see that the horizon is not straight and you can drag outside of the um, the, um, the crop handles and rotate and, um, and, and correct this kind of um, distortion. I'm going to click cancel because we can also use a straighten tool and another tip I will give you is to hold down the control key, that's the command key on, um, on, on Mac and that automatically activates the straighten tool and we can simply draw a line where we're supposed to be horizontal and that automatically fixes it for us. So that's something we can do to activate the straighten tool without leaving the crop tool and again we can continue to um, recompose um, as we as as we see fit, and then click done when you're um, when, when you're happy with the with the results. We can also use this to straighten verticals. As you can see with this next um, example, um, I'm going to again press the control key on the keyboard and get the um, straighten tool and just drag down across this um, the edge of this building, which should be vertical. And you can see it gets fixed straight away and we can click done when we're happy with that. So a good little shortcut tip for you for activating the straighten tool without leaving the crop. We can use a modifier key with the crop tool. So I'm now going to hold down the alt key and dragging any um, corner handle will produce a central crop. Um, and 
um, we can also use it to extend the canvas. So let me undo that. To use, the, um, to use it in conjunction with the canvas, um, I'm going to hold down Alt and drag one of the side handles out. And this extends both sides by an equal amount. And continuing to hold down Alt, I can drag the top up. And that gives me an equal amount each side. And you can see it produces a white border. Let me just fit that to um, screen so you can see it. It produces a white border based on the uh, setting of the background colour, which I have set to white. Um, you can choose any colour you like um, before starting to, to drag. So that's a good way to make a photo border or photo frame quite quickly using the crop tool. You can also make a transparent border, but you first need to unlock the transparency by double clicking your layer and um, click OK and that turns it into an ordinary layer with um, the transparency unlocked. Now if I choose the crop tool again and I hold down the Alt key, if I drag this time you will see that I get transparent pixels rather than the, rather than the background colour. And clicking done, I can place any image behind or underneath that layer zero, and that will show through the transparency. So, for example, I could go to the graphics panel and select one of the graphics that I've used before, and that puts it behind the underneath the original image, and the um, the graphic starts to show through. So that's a couple of little tricks for using the Alt key to create a border, either of a solid colour or um, using a, another photo behind. When cropping any image, the pixels to be deleted are dimmed out and you can see the um, surrounding area around the crop shield. You can press the forward slash key to better visualise. In fact, you can tap with the key like an on-off switch if you find that more helpful. Um, so when you click done, make sure you save um, under a different file name that protects your original image because the um, deleted pixels cannot be recovered. The side handles are good for trimming um, templates or memes or screenshots as in, as in this case that I've got from the internet. Um, you can drag them quite precisely to, um, to, trim, your, um, to trim your photo. Something like this. I like that. I've done that deliberately. I've left a little bit on the right hand edge because I want to show you how you can um, nudge the image, moving it by nudging it using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Just tapping the arrow keys, you can move them left and right or um, or up and down. If I hold the shift key and use the arrow keys that moves it in larger increments and um, when you're happy we just click done. So that's another little um, tip for you to use the arrow keys to nudge your image when you want something more um, precise. That's all for today. Um, I hope you found this um, video interesting and that you um, will find some of the tips useful. Thanks for watching and until next time, it's bye bye from me.